Hello everyone, this is Avkash and you are welcome to another segment of We Together Ventures Angel Investment. Today we are going to talk about 10 very important things. If you know them, understand them very well, they will make you a better and informed angel investor. So let's get started. The main principle behind angel investment is to find a really large return. With angel investment, your thought process is that you are looking for a return in more than 100x or even in larger times of the investment you have done. In order to get that large investment, you will have to wait pretty long time but this weight is worth it. The second important part for you to know about the investment round. When you are looking for a deal, you have to understand at which stage this investment deal is. The options will be pre-seed, seed, seed plus, bridge rounds or series A, B, C, D, E, F. Every company, depending on which market they are, has some metrics available to understand the company progress in any stage. So if you are investing in any company, depending on which stage they are, please make sure you have very good understanding about what a company should be in some way at a given stage because that will give you a very good understanding about where the company is and how its trajectory is, how its progress, where the momentum is. That's all you really need to know before you are going to invest in any deal depending on which stage it is. The companies which are in seed or pre-seed stage may not have product may not have customers, may not have any momentum. At that time, it's all depend on what's your belief for with the team, with the leadership and the market and the competition. The companies, when they are in pre-seed or seed stage, you have to understand more about the team, more about the market, more about the competition, and you have to trust the team will be victorious and that could give you some confidence to invest in a deal. Please review my another session where I spent good amount of time explaining how to understand a company progress, how to make a better judgment about a deal depending on which investment round stage they are. The next and the third very important point to understand about the investment raised as. You need to know if this investment is being raised as a safe round, equity round, or the convertible debt round. They all are different and somehow they are related. Equity is quite simple where you are investing and in return you are giving a percentage ownership in that company. Convertible debt is basically is a debt first and equity later. There may be some provisions, however, but in general, in a convertible debt, you are giving a loan first and later your loan plus interest will convert into your ownership in the company as equity. That's quite common with that. And then the third and the last, it's SAFE, which is very these days. SAFE stands for Simple Agreement for Future Equity. It's a very common and it can be done something really very quickly. And these days, most of the startups are using SAFE. In SAFE, you are investing in a company where the company value may not be fixed yet. You are investing 
and after some times when the valuation will be fixed your investment will be completed with that particular value so safe is just an agreement that when the company value will be fixed your investment will convert into your ownership in that company or your equity in that company depending on what the valuation is going to be set in future even when you are investing in a safe still you will have a good understanding of what the valuation really look like that can give you a good idea that if you are doing the safe investment what is the projected valuation going to look like for the next and the number four important aspect of angel investment is to make sure what kind of shared class is given to you is it common or is it preferred in most cases when you are doing angel investment your share class will be preferred but please make sure what class is it common or preferred in most cases the preferred shares are given to those who are investing their funds in that company in general the common stocks are given to those who are getting stocks in the company by the virtue of working in that company it is possible that a person in the company has both common stocks and preferred stock but for you as an angel investor you need to make sure for the investment you are doing you must be getting the preferred stocks because the preferred stockholders have the priority over the common stockholders when company achieve any kind of income whether it's a sale whether it's an acquisition it's a ipo or some merger as being the preferred stockholder your interest will be taken care ahead of common stockholders the number five and another important point to understand is how much money is being raised in this round and how that money is going to be invested so please review the founder's note and understand where that money is going to be invested and how long it is going to assist founders to run that company reading all those notes you can get a very good idea where the founders are going to invest this money and how it is going to help to grow that company and to give you your 100 plus x returns at number six we are going to talk about the company valuation at the time when this particular round is being raised what is the company valuation and this valuation comes in two category pre money valuation and post money valuation the pre money valuation means that company has the value x which does not include this particular round investment in order to evaluate the post money you take the pre money valuation plus the investment amount in this round and combining these two will give you the post money so for example if a startup is raising 20 million dollar on 80 million pre money it means currently before this round investment the company worth 80 million dollar and based on that 80 million dollar value the company is going to raise the 20 million dollars after combining 20 million dollars plus 80 million dollar the post valuation of that company will be 100 million dollar and the investment which is being done in that round will have the equity based on pre money plus investment and whatever percentage this investment will be of that post money will return in the equity of that investment in this particular round the seventh important concept in angel investment to understand what is the syndicate lead or the angel investor leads 
allocation and how much the syndicate lead or the fund manager is going to invest in that deal. Every deal has several investors and depending on investors tier and their interest in a particular deal, every investor gets an allocation. The syndicate lead or the angel investor or the fund manager you are working with, they are also given an allocation in this specific deal where you are also working with. So first thing you need to know what is the overall allocation. It means as your syndicate lead, how much money your leader invest total along with himself and all his investment team or a group of angel investors. So that is allocation. After the allocation, you need to understand what is your syndicate lead investment. Depending on what percent your syndicate lead is investing in a particular deal should give you a little better idea about how the syndicate lead really think about this particular deal. A higher investment from the syndicate lead means the syndicate lead thinks this deal is quite good. If your syndicate lead is also investing minimum investment, that should give you some information about what is the thought process behind this deal. What is your syndicate lead thought process behind this deal? The number eight concept in our list is pro rata allocation. When you are doing an angel investment deal, it is very much possible that the round you are investing is not the last round. The founders are going to raise money later in subsequent round. As the new rounds will be created, the company valuation is going to be higher and higher, which is almost true. And as the new investment is going to come, your equity or your ownership in the company is start going to be lesser and lesser. It does not mean that your ownership value is diminishing or going low. No, your ownership value will definitely going to be higher and higher as the company value is growing, even when your ownership shares are declining. However, if your investment has pro rata allocation that gives you an opportunity so that you will not dilute your ownership or your equity in this given company. So pro rata allocation helps you not to dilute your allocation or your equity in this given company. If you have a pro rata allocation, available in a deal, it means in the future rounds, you will be given a preference to invest a little more money in those rounds as well, so that your ownership equity will still going to be same. Means you will not dilute your equity in this given company. So having pro rate allocation is a great thing in any angel investment. So make sure you validate in that deal. The topic number nine in our list is setup cost. Every angel investment comes with a setup cost and that is clearly defined in the documents which will be given to you in any investment deal. You have to be very careful to understand how setup cost works. Let me give you an example. For example, you are investing in a deal where setup cost is 10%. It means if you are going to invest $50,000 in that deal, the 10% of 50,000 means $5,000 will be used as setup cost. It means even when you are writing a check of 50,000 US dollars, your actual investment is only $45,000 because the 10% amount from your check has been used as setup cost. In the same deal, what if you had only 1% setup cost? In that scenario, 
your $50,000 check will have only $500 used as set of fee and your $49,500 would have been your actual investment. So lower the setup cost is always gives you better investment size depending on how big your check is. So please make sure you understand what is the setup cost associated with your angel investment. The, the last but not least concept about angel investment is carry. Whenever you are doing any investment, whether it's angel investment or you are working with traditional investors, you are going to invest along with a syndicate lead or a general partner or any kind of fund manager. It means the person who is giving you an opportunity to invest in this deal is going to take a profit share from your investment. And that profit share is called carry. In most of the angel investment cases, the common carry value is 20%. It means whenever you are going to make a profit from an angel investment, depending on what carry percent is, that percent profit share is going to be given to your syndicate lead, fund manager, or the general partner in that deal. If you have 20% carry, it means whenever you are going to receive the profit check, 20% will be taken by the fund manager or the syndicate lead. When you are doing an angel investment, make sure what is the carry percentage associated with that deal. If you have a very good relationship with your fund manager or the syndicate lead, you can negotiate the carry as well. And it is very common that if you are going to write a larger check size, means a larger investment to fill a significant part of that allocation given to that fund manager, then your carry percent could be reduced because you are investing significantly comparative to others or your peers in that particular deal. So make sure what is your carry and if you have a leverage or some relationship with your fund manager or syndicate lead, you can request for a lower carry percentage. So let's do a very quick recap. In our top 10 list, the key theme behind angel investment, this is a long-term investment. Understand that fact and then you start investing. The second point, you have to know what investment round it is and depending on that investment round where this company exists. The third point, how that investment is really being raised. If Is it safe, convertible debt or equity? Or you also need to understand, is it a bridge round? The fourth point, you need to know the shared class type. If it is preferred or common. The number five, you need to know how much money is being invested and where it is going to be used. When next we talk about valuation with regard to pre-money valuation and post-money valuation. So make sure you understand that part very well. Next in our list at seventh point, we need to understand the allocation given to your fund manager. And in that allocation, what will be your investment? What percentage you are going to have in that allocation? allocation? After the allocation, you also need to understand, do you have pro rata allocation added for you? If at number nine, we understood the setup cost for every investment. Whenever you are going to invest, you are going to pay a very small fee as a setup cost, but you need to know what that number is. And finally, at the last, carry. In general, every investment, you are going to share your profit with the fund managers you are working with. You have to know what is the carry attached to this particular investment you are. I hope you enjoyed this content and I will see you 
in my another session that's all my friends if you have enjoyed our content please like it share it subscribe it and finally please remember be good and do good thank you